Good morning. My name is Michael Powell. I'm an associate professor at the Morehouse School of Medicine. I am in the Department of Microbiology, Biochemistry, and Immunology. And uh, this journey started out uh, sometime last year. The, the Andrew Young Foundation, Morehouse School of Medicine, and Prometra formed a collaboration. And our goal in this collaboration was to determine whether traditional African herbal treatments had a basis in scientific fact and would they have activity against the Ebola virus. So Prometra had sent us, as you've heard, mixtures of plants. We had five mixtures of plants that are commonly used by traditional healers. And the traditional healers use this to treat a variety of viral infections. And so this led us to wonder whether Ebola would be one of those viruses that could be treated with this remedy. We took the herbal, the herbal mixtures that they had given us. In the field, these herbal mixtures are used as a tea. And that tea is given to patients as a treatment. So we made a water-soluble extract. So we used water to extract the compounds from the plants. We extensively process this to remove contaminants like bacteria and fungi. They were on all kinds of plants. And then we froze, we froze this uh, suspension and dried it down to send to the USAMRID labs in Frederick, Maryland. USAMRID is one of the very handful of labs that has a biosafety level four lab. This is the kind of lab you need in order to test <coughs> Ebola because of its infectivity. So we sent the extracts to the USAMRID labs. They tested it like we do for a lot of viral treatments in a cellular-based assay. So they take human cells and expose them to the Ebola virus and see if they can infect those cells. So this is commonly done with all antivirals that have been developed. There are two goals in this kind of testing. You want to see that the treatment is effective against Ebola but you also want to tell whether the, the treatment is toxic. Uh, an example I always give is bleach. We know bleach is very effective at killing viruses, but you certainly wouldn't give it as a treatment to humans because of its toxicity. So we're trying to find both of these uh, constituents so we can see whether it's safe and we can see whether it's effective. So we know from our experience in Dr. Bedos's group, that these are given to human beings, so they've been taking these medications for a, these plants for a long time. So the tests that USAMRA did on our extract showed that all of the extracts, all five of them, had activity against Ebola virus. This is exciting because it's a first step. If you don't see that the virus can be inhibited by the extracts, you really have nothing. They also showed that many of the extracts were not very toxic at all. All of the extracts were within acceptable limits for toxicity. So they both showed that it was effective and that it could block Ebola from infecting tissue cultured cells. And it was relatively non-toxic because it wouldn't kill those cells when you treated them. So these are very exciting results for us because it helps show us that treatments that are based on experience by traditional healers in Africa have a basis in scientific fact. And so in this preliminary step, we can see that it was the traditional herbal treatments are effective against this one virus in this particular case. So we need to do more work, and that's part of our reason for being here today, is we need other partners that will help us get from that first step to taking the second step. We need to characterize these traditional marble treatments more extensively. So there's a lot of work that has to be done in order to get them to a point where we can comfortably use them as a treatment in this country, for example. So I think the bigger picture is that traditional herbal therapies have potential. And we need to open our minds to uh, investigating these and see the scientific basis of these kinds of treatment. So that's why we're here today. 
We want to enlist support of any partners that will help us move on to the next step. Thank you.